15 running backs in five minutes, starting with the round two running backs, not the round one guys. 15 running backs in five minutes, picks 14 through 49 in ADP. So this is basically rounds two through four in a 12-team league. Here we go. Dave, DeAndre Swift. Huge upside. Top five fantasy running back upside. Downside is injuries. Expect him to catch a ton of passes this year. Nick Chubb. Keith. Really worried Jacoby Brissett's going to have the same impact on Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt that he did on Marlon Mack and Naheem Hines. Would not okay, take yeah. him as a top 12 running back. Oh, okay. Would you take him as a, like a top 15 running back? Or do you have 16th in full PPR. In a more optimistic picture, picture, the Browns running backs have felt to me a little bit quarterback proof. What do you think? Baker Mayfield, even last year, was better than Jacoby Brissett is. Yeah, but they were great even when Baker Mayfield didn't play. And those quarterbacks were terrible. Like I said, they didn't throw for 200 yards in any of those three games. They, they had they played three games without Baker Mayfield last year. They were awesome in one, they were bad in one, and then the other was week 18 when they were really, really good, but it was the Bengals when they weren't playing for anything. Yeah. So I don't um, know. Well, but they weren't bad in that in that Denver game. I mean, he had Denver had four carries for 89 yards. Yeah, he struggled a little bit, but he had 24 carries. Most weeks, if you give Nick Chubb 24 carries. Well, Kareem Hunt playing, wasn't there. That is true. But they they ran the ball a lot. The running back. I think they're going to run the ball a lot. I don't know that they're going to score that many touchdowns or get that many targets. All right. Uh, next up is Alvin Kamara, Dave. Bounce back year in terms of passing game work. Uh, had a career year as far as a rushing as far as rushing goes for him. Looks like he's going to play 17 games. He is still worth a first round pick. Looks like he's not going to be suspended. Is what you're saying? Correct. Uh, that's Alvin Kamara. Let's go to Javante Williams, Heath. I got him in my top 12, and I'm probably going to move Barkley ahead of him. The drumbeat remains that he and Melvin Gordon are going to split closer than 60-40. You probably need a Melvin Gordon injury for Javante Williams to return profit. How Share about... Monte. Oh, this is the guy. This guy, I would say, based on his ADP, is the centerpiece of my fantasy drafts. Aaron Jones is going 20th overall, and I will take him basically anywhere in round two. <laughs> so 13th overall, you know. Um, Dave, what are your thoughts on Aaron Jones? I have him 12th in my PPR rankings. I have him ahead of Nick Chubb. I think he's got a shot to have 50-plus receptions, certainly have a lot of long touchdowns, as well as maybe some short touchdowns. He was good in that role, just A.J. Dillon's better built for it. And he'll be the lead running back in an offense that should be a little more running-centric this year. Yeah, and that's if you believe in the ADP and you believe you can get Aaron Jones in round two, then you might make your decision easier in round one if you're trying to decide between Justin Jefferson and Joe Mixon or Jamar Chase and Dalvin Cook or something like that. And if you want to balance, go ahead. Yeah. May I add one last thing on Aaron Jones? Mm -hmm. Past three years, he's finished 13th, 5th, and 3rd in PPR points per game among running backs. You are drafting him close to that floor. Right. Yeah. Whew. Uh, Leonard Fournette, Heath. Back in shape, top 12 running back. Tom Brady loves him. Saquon Barkley, Dave. Brian Dayball loves him. Feature back in the offense. Fingers crossed, no freak injuries. Top five running back potential. I will say, like, the, the thing about the Barkley one is, does he have any of – it looks like he has the elite volume. Does he have any of the three elites was my question. Um, elite volume and elite talent. I think he still has elite talent. Well, I that wasn't one of these three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So is that the efficiency, Dave, you're going with? He's going to be elite. Efficiency? I think he can be, can I say elite efficiency? I don't know. I don't know if he can be, he can be better than he's been, but I don't know if he can be elite in terms of efficiency anymore. But the talent is really good. And I think the Giants are going to lean on it quite a bit. I do is think that, it's fair. He's, he's been a top 12 running back. Dobbins for is the while. same running back that we might ask if Saquon Barkley is the same running back. But at least we're seeing. I think we're closer to getting a positive answer on Dobbins than we were a week ago because uh, I, he's off the pup list. We're seeing it with Saquon. That it's different though, Heath, because Barkley is so much farther removed from his major knee surgery. Right, but I'm right. saying he hasn't been the same running back since. He, we've seen Barkley yeah. play games and not be the same running back. That's why I'm saying I I don't doubt that he's the same running back he was last year. That's not the same guy. As that, that's not the that's not who we're drafting. Talent. 
I think I think the bar I think what we've seen from Barkley is probably what would make people nervous about Dobbins. You know, if Dobbins has a slow recovery the way Barkley Well, yeah, I mean if Dobbins has two or three more injuries. That's also it, true. I would get very worried. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's uh, speed it up here. By the way, Barkley or Fournette, who do you like better? Fournette, Fournette. by one notch. Zeke, Ezekiel Elliott, Heath. Man, there's underrated upside, but if he gets dinged again or if Jerry Jones loses his say, then it could be Tony Tollard's <laughs> job. Um, but, man, I, I, you know about a guy who could be top five. Zeke's it. James Conner, Dave. Jerry Jones losing his say. That's a good one. Uh, did he die? James Conner has injury downside, and Cliff Kingsbury on Sirius XM NFL Radio said that they need to kind of monitor it. I'll send the quote out today. But otherwise, ginormous upside. We saw it last year. When he's healthy, he can be a feature back in, in a really good offense. This is one of those running backs that you can look at in round three and say, I'll take him. David Montgomery, Heath. Man, you know what? Underrated. Um, we'll see how much he has to share with Khalil Herbert, but feels pretty safe to me as a high-end number two running back. And if this offense could be average, he could be top ten. You could get him in round four. He's a late round three pick. I got him in round five in a draft last night. That's wild. Uh, you can't get him in round five. You can get him in round four. I just did. <laughs> you can't do that again. <laughs> Cam Akers is uh, is actually in the league team. that you took two running backs in the first two rounds. What, Rasball? Yep. Yeah, I know. They fall. Those running backs fall. Um, I'll skip Cam Akers. We talked about him. Oh, Antonio Gibson, I'll skip as well. Josh Jacobs, Dave. He's going to be part of a committee. It's going to be frustrating. We don't know how much the coach truly loves him. Spoiler, he doesn't. Could end up being an okay number two fantasy running back, but he's going to make you take a Tums at some point during the year. And Elijah Mitchell, Heath. Another guy with upside that we're just kind of discounting because of what his coach has done in the past and the fact they just drafted another running back. If Elijah Mitchell can stay healthy, he could be a top 12 running back. He might not start week one. I have Gibson. <laughs> <laughs> I think he starts week one. I feel pretty good about him starting week one. I've got Gibson, Jacobs, Mitchell back to back to back in my running back rankings. And I'm telling you, sometimes I feel like I could just close my eyes and like pick any one of them out of a bag and uh, I'd feel cool with him being first among those three. And do you have Dylan ahead of them? Uh, no, they're he's right behind them. 